Bubbles, bubbles everywhere! Today I'm drawing quick and easy bubbles with colored pencils. And stick around to the end for fantastic bonus tip. Okay, so last time I showed you how to create a soft glow background with uh, ink and pencils. We're going to keep going with that and emphasize the glow effect with bubbles. Today I'm using circle stencils and Prismacolor pencils. Links to everything are in the video description. Before we begin, notice where the light is coming from. In this page, the bottle in the center is the glowing light source. So, step one. Trace a circle with a pencil. Since I have a dark purple background, I'm tracing the circle with light color pencils. Step two. Make the side of the bubble closer to the light source a light color, or in this instance, white. Step three. Make the side of the bubble further from the light source a darker color. Use the same colors as the background for a more realistic look since the bubbles are transparent. I'll list the exact colors I'm using in the video description if you want to use the same color palette. Also, use a variety of circle sizes. Bubbles aren't all the same size, so mix it up. Also, make sure you scatter them so they aren't in a straight line. Remember, bubbles love to float around. Alright, so here you can see I'm drawing a lot of different bubble sizes and we're zooming in so you can see I make it whiter or brighter on the side closest to the light source and darker colors around the edge furthest from the light source. Step 4. Add dark color accents curving near the light side of the bubble. This provides contrast to make that bright side stand out. Step 5. Add white curving near the center. Those white streaks of color give the bubble a really shiny look. And the contrasting dark and light colors next to each other provide beautiful contrast that really makes the bubble pop. Haha, <laughs> get it? Bubble pop. Okay, uh, <laughs> another way to think about it is imagine the light and dark colors are swirling around each other. Also, if you want to color along with me, that would be wonderful. There's a link to this coloring page in the description so you can download and color this image. And I'm always looking for new backgrounds to try. And if you want to see me draw a certain background, leave a comment, let me know. Okay, let's recap. Trace the circle with a light color or white. Then put lighter color on the side of the bubble closest to the light source and darker color furthest away from the light. Imagine the bubble is a ball. That's the starting point for shading. And no joke, I really have fun drawing all these bubbles. This was really fun to do. Also, remember the bubbles can go off the page a bit. You don't have to trace complete circles every time. Bubbles float, and sometimes they float off the page. And bonus tip. The last step. Add small rays of light moving out away from the bubble where it is closest to the light source. This makes the bubble look like it's reflecting the light with that super shiny surface. And that's it for today. If you want to learn more coloring techniques, go check out my playlist, Coloring Like a Pro. It's full of lots of coloring tutorials. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video. And until then, stay creative!